Okay, I'm joined with Adrian here from SeaDo at the 2014 Toronto Boat Show. Definitely one of the largest things talked about at the show this year is from SeaDo with the introduction of the Spark. Hi, Mark. Yes, yeah. indeed, you're right. It's uh, the biggest introduction uh, at the boat show. I think we can tell you that. I mean, it's the the talk of the the, the boat show for sure. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we're ex extremely excited about it. A lot of interest. People walking by, and you yeah. can see the booth is, is also has a nice layout. So today we're going to be speaking about the Sea Doo Spark in detail. It's just been introduced yeah. in September, and so it's brand new for uh, the season coming up. Let's have a look. Let's take a look. So. Um, um, what I'm pleased to introduce to you here is the uh, 2014 Sea-Doo Spark from yep. BRP. So uh, the maker for Ski-Doo snowmobiles, about Can Am ATV, Can Am mm -hmm. Spider. For those who are not familiar with, they even wrote Outboard, who are also on the show. And um, I guess I'm going to start with a little bit of history on on, on this product because yep. um, the thought was it started a, a little. Um, uh, about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we have a um, department at BRP which is uh, design innovation, and they uh, they are the one who brought up the Canam Spider. And at the time, um, they looked into the, the the watercraft, and they say, what what we want like to do. One of the mandate was uh, they always start with a mandate was to bring uh, bring back. The, the family fun on the water accessible to more people. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea is how can we bring back that spirit of family fun on the water and make it accessible to a lot of people. This is really how the spark started. Um, and from there, I mean, they, they basically built up the spark, obviously through long hours of work and, and uh, many years of work, in fact, but they always kept in mind, I mean, three, three key elements. The first thing is they wanted this product to be fun. Yeah. Okay. It's one, and the other thing, it had to be accessible. So it's one thing to be accessible to more people, but it also had to be fun, playful, nimble, exciting. And it's once you ride it, and I mean you get it. It's just this product is a blast. It's <laughs> very different from yeah. what we've experienced. And then the, the third element, which kind of like framed the construction of this watercraft, was that we truly needed to it to be part to have the DNA of Sidu. So it's um, it, what we didn't want to have any compromise on the product, and it also meant it had to be innovative because, as you know, I mean, we're the brand uh, in terms of watercraft that has been innovating the most for the past few years. We've uh, brought up uh, IBR, which is the brake and reverse, the intelligent yeah. brake and reverse that was in 2009, the intelligent suspension. So. The Sea Doo Spark, when we set the mandate at BRP, had to have the same DNA spirit. So let's. Uh, I think what I would I uh, would I would uh, do today is I would um, talk to uh, your viewers and tell them a bit about all those elements. How do they uh, live through the Sea Doo Spark? How the how the fun, how the accessibility is has been built into the Sea Doo Spark. Okay. So in terms of a uh, fun aspect, uh, one of the key elements as I outlined is it's it's a playful watercraft. It has a bit of a heritage from uh, the past history of what we had done in the 90s in terms of hull specific. So we've taken some of those past hulls uh, that we've created, but we also addressed some of the concern that there was. So uh, like uh, the, the fact that maybe the watercraft would uh, easily turn over, for instance, mm -hmm. would tip over, right? Yeah. Uh, the fact that you would get too, too, too wet, for instance, so this has been addressed through, uh, I mean, sh uh, the shear lines and and uh, through added buoyancy, for instance. So mm -hmm. they they made sure that uh, we kept the fun, but also addressed some of the concern we had from the past. Uh, and uh, so this this makes it the hull itself is at, at the start is very playful. And now one of the key things, obviously, you see it's a very compact watercraft. Mm -hmm. Compact means it's light. Everything around this watercraft is about light. The engine is our new BRP Rotax 900 Ace. It's a it's a compact engine. It's very light. The uh, the whole architecture is 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 about light. This means that in the end we're 45% lighter than the comparative model, the wow. closest closest model. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So this is a big number, and this means that in 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 reference. We have a 40% better power-to-weight ratio uh, in terms of uh, when we compare it to uh, to uh, to the closest competitive model. So we have really this advantage of uh, the playful hull uh, combined with a watercraft that is extremely light. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it's a blast to ride, and you can uh, really do things with the watercraft that you usually don't. I mean, you you've forgotten about you used to do with uh, with uh, a different water with another watercraft. 
Um, so this is an awesome element. I personally love it. Every time I go and ride it, it's just uh, it's it's pure fun. Uh, and you see here, for instance, the seat is narrow, so you can play with the watercraft, move around. It's yep. it's made for that. Um, other parameters that the team took into account when they designed a the watercraft is a as far as creating fun is in today uh, today's world you want to make sure that you make your uh, you really own your own you know uh, your own I mean you, your own specific product yeah. so what they did is they made sure that you could customize and make it your own because this is fun right yep. this is unique so it starts with the fact that we have a uh, different platform available you can customize it so you start you choose for instance, here we have what we call a three up, yep. so it's a three seater. Mm -hmm. But I have also sitting on my left side yep. a two up platform. So you can see the difference right here by seeing the extension on the back of the three up. This on is a three up yep. product with the extension on the seat too as well, right? Yep. So it starts with the platform. You can choose: Do I want to ride more three up? So people, I'm going to get a three up. Do I want to get a more nimble watercraft and have pure fun? I might get a two up, for instance. Yep. Then you can also choose your engine. It's something uh, you know unseen in a watercraft is, oh, I can choose my engine. So you're going to choose between a Rotax 900 Ace or the Rotax 900 Ace H show. Basically, uh, it's going to give you a bit more speed. Mm -hmm. The first one is going to give you about uh, 40 up to uh, the low 40 miles per hour. The bigger one up to, uh, in the high uh, high 50s. So mm -hmm. uh, it, you can choose your engine. This is something I really think is quite awesome because it's a parameter you can decide on. Yeah. Then you go on and you choose uh, your if you want to have the brake. Remember the IBR I was yeah. mentioning? This is also part of the options. Uh, from there you go move on and you, you can add what we call the convenience package, basically adding two of our most popular options. The front storage which you can see right here on, on, the, on the watercraft. Yeah as well as the reboarding step which is at the back of the watercraft to uh, allow you to reboarding in a more easy, uh, easy way. And lastly, the two last customization step is you're going to be doing some um, uh, uh, choose of among the five colors. We got some cool names for the colors. Uh, we call them pineapples uh, for the, uh, the the more yellow one over there. Yep. Uh, Bubblegum uh, for the, the more pinkish one here. Yep. Orange Crush uh, for the uh, orange one, and we have uh, a, a white one um, called Vanilla, uh, and then the other one is uh, a more black, a gray one, uh, Licorice. So it's mm -hmm. everything about it is fun. Uh -huh. All right, and then uh, lastly, um, you can also make it super uh, customized to yourself. So you're gonna make it, you're gonna choose one of the 20 graphic kits we have. Mm -hmm. um, we have graphic kits and you can wrap your entire watercraft, choose one of those 20 graphic kits. So between the five colors, the graphic kits, you make it look your own. And in the end, it also look great. It's lo it's the look is refreshing, right? Yeah. From what we've been used to see. It's, yeah. This is why I think it's a talk of the the show. It's it's about the fact that it's fun, but it's it. Uh, I mean, it lives in the way it handles, the way it looks. It's all those concept. Yeah. So I'm trying to um, jump through all those point that the, the team has, you know, I mean, the team has taken years to develop this. Again, they use those three things I mentioned to you. Yeah. One of the core one was to make it accessible to more people. And accessible doesn't mean it, it's it's priced at a, a price that has been never seen for the past 15 years, I think. Uh, we started at, at 5399 for instance, mm -hmm. in Canada, uh, which is, uh, I mean, a, a, for sure, amazing price to get on the water. But it's not only about the price, it's also meaning uh, it's easy to also tow for, for a car. For instance, if you want to uh, tow it, because it's 45% lighter than any uh, the closest competitor watercraft, it's going to be super easy to tow with a compact car. Whether before in the past, some people might say, hey, you know, if I want to get in the water, I want my family to come in the water, yeah. but I'm going to have to buy a, a truck or whatsoever. Yeah. So as I was saying, it's easy to own, pricing, easy to tow, so uh, it's pretty accessible, it's really making it, making it accessible. But one of the core elements which went through the development of the Sea2 Spark is about maintaining the Sea2 DNA. So what you're going to be finding on the Sea2 Spark, it's full of Sea2 DNA, it's full of innovation. It's, it's a watercraft as it, as it is innovative, whether it's a brand new engine, mm -hmm. new material, it's made of Polytech, that's what we call it, uh, or the presence the, of IBR, Internet and Break Rivers. It's not a watercraft that has been done through the chip way. It's, it's the opposite, in fact. In order to bring that efficient, accessible price, in fact, the team had to really 
uh, dig, dig deep and find new ways to innovate. And they brought in a lot of te new technology into this watercraft. And it's made by the Prune brand, which is Sea Doo. Mm -hmm. So this is what I would tell you for today's show. I think the all this element, the fun, the fact it's accessible, the fact it's part of the Sea Doo DNA, a leading brand for more than 25 years, are making this product the talk of the show, uh, of the Toronto Boat Show today. Adrian, well, thank you very much for that Sea Doo inside look for Doc Time. Thank you very much, Marcus. Nice meeting you.